Welcome to part three of the IntelliCut AeroCut Edition custom template training series. In this video, we will walk through how to use custom templates to create PDF print files by adding and laying out design assets. Let's begin by naming our new project save file, which will be accessible from the IntelliCut welcome menu when needing to revisit this project. IntelliCut utilizes two different file formats, the parent project file and the nested design files. It is recommended to select the Use Job Name in Front Back button for naming consistency across all files used in the project. Once you have named your project, you are taken to the design interface where you're ready to start creating your PDF print file. Let's take a moment to get acclimated to the different aspects of the design interface. The white space in the center of the screen is the design area of the one-up document that will be multi-up imposed. When working on a duplex two-sided job, you can easily toggle between the design area of each side of your document. Use the tabs at the top of the screen to move between the back page tab or the front page tab. Each side of the form can be designed individually, allowing for complete control over each side's design. IntelliCut allows for data merging to occur on both sides of the document. At any time, you may select the Preview Imposition button from the Home tab to get a view of your current imposition design. This can be done from either the front page or the back page tabs. While you work in the design area, you may quickly zoom in and out by using hotkeys. Simply hold Control on your keyboard and simultaneously either move the scroll wheel on your mouse down to zoom out or up to zoom in. When working with bleed documents, you may wish to see an indication of the bleed parameters in the design area. You may do this by selecting Show Margins. Now that we have familiarized ourselves with the design interface, let's bring artwork into our project. IntelliCut accepts a variety of image file formats, with PDF being the recommended and most popular. Your print artwork must be sized in accordance with the size of the document you are creating, but may contain excess bleed or canvas space. IntelliCut will automatically center your artwork and crop excess canvas space, allowing you to use any customer's graphic size format without requiring you to manually crop the image. IntelliCut supports two distinct methods of artwork imposition importing one-up artwork and importing multi-page artwork. Let's create layouts using both methods. Laying out one-up artwork is the most popular method of imposition and refers to using a single design to populate the entire multi-up page. Here we see artwork for a single business card imposed eight times on the front and eight times on the back. To use this method of imposition, select the Import Image button from the Home tab. This will open the selection wizard for you to find and open your one-up artwork file. If you are working on a two-sided duplex project and you've selected PDF artwork that is two pages, the software will automatically prompt you to add the second page to the back side tab. If your front side and back side artwork are two distinct files, select the back page tab and follow the same import image process. Laying out multi-page artwork refers to taking a PDF file with many pages and laying out each page one time in the order that they will be cut. To do this, select the Import PDF Pages button from the Home tab. 
If you are working in a duplex job, you must ensure that your multi-page PDF is ordered front side, back side, front side, back side, etc. This will ensure appropriate layout on both sides of the page. IntelliCut will automatically impose multi-page documents in the order that they will drop into the bins of the AeroCut when they are cut, ensuring that your pages maintain their order at the end of the finishing process. Now that artwork has been placed on the page, you are ready to create your PDF print file to be sent to your printer. To do this, select the Create PDF button from the Home tab. Your PDF can be named and saved anywhere on your PC, but will always default to saving in the My Documents IntelliCut Output folder. Watch the next and final video in the series to learn how to add all corresponding cut and finishing information to the arrow cut.